<coughs> Halloween! Stop! Sorry, Donnie. He's a, more of a St. Paddy's Day guy. The month of September is almost over. A lot of us are in the Halloween spirit as of right now. I know I'm binging tons of horror movies on my spare time. So with that in mind, guys, I'm going to be rounding up the upcoming horror movies that will be released this October for you to watch to get you into the Halloween spirit. This is a wide range of new releases that will be coming out either in theaters, on digital, on Netflix, or other streaming services. Be sure to let me know which one you're most excited about and which one you're just going to say no to. First one on the list is one I can't believe I am highly anticipated for is entitled The Killer Sofa. Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong. This is a real movie being released in October on demand and it revolves around a sinister sofa that comes after you. We've had movies like this before, like The Killer Tomatoes, that one with the tire that had telepathic powers. But I dare you to watch this trailer and not say to yourself, this don't, this, this don't look half bad. It feels like the movie knows exactly what it's going for. It has that kind of goofy vibe, but at the same time, they're taking it seriously enough where it feels like a real horror movie and not some sort of scary movie parody-like movie. Say what you will. I'm gonna watch that thing. Another movie coming out here, October 3rd on Shudder, the streaming service is entitled The Furries. Now put your pants back on, it's not that kind of movie. This one does have sort of a low budget feel to it, but the premise is interesting enough. You have eight women put in a secluded area with eight stalkers. Each one of them donating some sort of animal mask, hence the title The Furries, and it is also part of a game that someone is mask controlling in the background. The women involved will have to try and fight for their survival to beat The Furries. And well, we've been trying to do that for years, but they're still around. Yeah, don't knock it till you try it, right guys? Being that it's going to be on the streaming service Shutter, I'll probably most definitely give it a watch, but I don't expect too much out of this movie. On October 4th on Netflix, you'll be watching Stephen King's adaptation of In the Tall Grass. In the Tall Grass follows a brother and a sister who, after hearing a young boy cry in a field of grass, go looking for him, only to find out there's no way out of this field. Premise might not sound interesting enough, but when you watch the trailer, there are definitely hidden elements in here that pique my curiosity, because you're people showing up like Patrick Wilson who you might know from the Insidious franchise or the Conjuring movies and if you look at the outfit he don't look like someone in modern time so it could be that this field of grass does not follow logic in time and once you get stuck there anyone and everyone who has ever been into the field of grass still remains there looking for a way out being on Netflix for sure gonna watch it's basically a free movie and with Stephen King's name attached you know it's gonna have that horror flavor you want in the month of October another Netflix original coming out on October 11th is a movie entitled Fractured. This one stars Sam Worthington and after his wife and daughter are injured and are taken to the hospital, they mysteriously disappear and as the night goes on, Sam Worthington's character will find out that the hospital has something to hide. I really wish we had more footage or a full-length trailer for this project. The only thing we have on it is Netflix put out this Netflix and Chills trailer and where they show the different horror movies coming out for this month, but as of right now, we only have stills. I gotta be honest, doesn't really pique my interest if the trailer catches my glance i'll probably check it out but as of right now i'm gonna let this one pass continuing on with the netflix trend we have a movie entitled ellie this will be released october 18th and follows the tale of a young boy who after being diagnosed with a very rare illness is desperately checked into a hospital that is going to do some experimental therapy on the kid only to find out that the hospital is up to more sinister nature it looks like netflix just is not digging hospitals this time around this one we did have a bit more footage and stills of it a kid locked in a chair and me one person who does not like to go to the dentist that frightens me right there being just strapped on have some guy mess around with your body in ways you don't know i could see myself watching this one if i'm bored on a saturday the final netflix release we have here is on october 25th a movie entitled rattlesnake probably the most interesting one to me coming out this october from netflix is it deals with a mother who after having a daughter that gets a snake bite confides in a stranger to retract the poison from her daughter only for the stranger to ask for a sinister favor in return. That piques my interest because it is one of those situations where a mother would be willing to do anything to save their child. And when she's put in the situation that she needs to think faster or else her daughter won't make it, pair that up with whatever the favor this stranger has. This sounds like right up my alley as a simple horror movie that could go a long way with such little story, but at the same time could be horribly executed. So I'd have to see a full trailer, Netflix. Where are you at with these full trailers? Moving on to some movies that'll be released theatrically. What I'm super excited for might not call it a horror movie more of a horror comedy is Zombieland 2 Double Tap this is the long-awaited sequel to the 
movie Zombieland almost 10 years later, we finally get to see this thing. Everyone is back. Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg. I gotta be honest and say the trailers haven't completely captivated me. I'm still hoping that maybe they're saving a lot of stuff for the final product. But that first Zombieland just has a high pedestal for a fun zombie movie that I'm hoping this can do the same. And in the time the first Zombieland came out, a lot has changed in the zombie genre. So are they going to be able to keep up with what's been going on and still keep things fresh and interesting? One movie here that broke the horror fan in me that I was so excited for when I first heard the premise was a movie entitled Countdown. Now the premise of this movie is that you download an app, you plug in your information, your name, date of birth, stuff like that, and the app in return will tell you the time down to the second of when you will pass away. That premise right there gave me chills when I first read about it, and even with this poster, and then the trailer comes out. And this movie, I have no idea how it's a theatrical release because it has such low budget vibes like it belongs on DVD or VOD. And I guess when reading the premise, I had it set in my mind that it was gonna go for a sort of Final Destination vibe that when your timer went up, you were gonna pass away in a natural slash unnatural occurrence, kind of like in Final Destination where some things happen, you end up in a horrific car crash. Or you're doing gymnastics and all of a sudden you fall off the beam and break all your legs that go up into your face. But when you see the trailer, the app is connected to this supernatural demon and to me when you mix horror with technology it doesn't always mesh well and it takes that fun factor that you could have had in this movie plus you have Tom Segura in there comedian Tom Segura in this movie I should tell you all you need to know about this thing I'll probably still check it out because I like the premise but I don't expect to have a good time. And last movie on here for October, one that I'm mildly curious for, is The Gallows Act 2. You might remember the first movie, The Gallows, that came out. It started that whole YouTube phenomenon on Charlie Charlie Says, something like that. I forget, my cousin was doing it once. And it was a found footage horror movie about a bunch of kids who went into a school after dark, only to find out that there's supernatural elements occurring because of a haunted play they are doing. I'm not gonna ruin the ending twist for you if you haven't seen it, but if you have it kind of makes you wonder how are they going to make a part two because if you look at the trailer it looks very supernatural a lot of the same vein don't think any of the previous characters are returning it's going to be in theaters for like one day and then going to go straight to dvd october 25th but because i had such a fun cheesy time with the first and i'm kind of curious to how they'll handle the second movie I'm probably gonna be watching this one. I don't know about you, but that felt like a disappointed list for horror movies in October. I mean, what happened to October the month? They used to have bangers after bangers of great horror movies. I feel like there's such a wider range of open space for you to really dominate that market, but I just don't see it happening. Any of these movies piqued your interest, guys? Will you be checking them out? I'm telling you, Killer Sofa is gonna be a hidden gem because I'm gonna watch that thing. Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave me your thoughts down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.